Something's wrong with me. Hi, everybody. Um, Merry Christmas and all that stuff. If it's a holiday that you celebrate, if not, regardless, welcome to my stream, where I will show you Christmas games. I hope, uh, whatever day it is for you, it's a good one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The holiday, if you're having a good food. But, thank you everybody for being here. I was here earlier, and I streamed for a couple hours, and now I'm here again. And we have Santa Tracker up, as has become somewhat of a tradition. And, uh, I've got Mario World Randomized, which is also a bit of a tradition. So why not? Let's- let's jump into it. Vinny, I hope you didn't get another uncomfortable chair. I- I got the snack crate. <laughs> the, uh, it- it arrived today, of all things. Um, I got a hoodie. I got some money. And that was really it. I mean, I'm fine with that. Someone said, where's Paul? Oh, we gotta get Paul. Paul... McCartney... PNG. I need something that emphasizes his... his McCartney-ness, you know? Like his... his Paul-ness. Let's see if I can get something here. Eh. Well, I haven't really found it. Oh, thank you. That's- that's very nice. Chat members, you can... Once again, I don't mind if you save your subs for the, um... the charity stream. It's very kind of you. Jesus. Wow. I didn't get my Christmas Upper Decker yet. Not yet. Why is this not working? Oh, yeah, there we go. That, that's a very crusty image. That, that's not really... You know what? I like it. It's just the right crust. The moon is right. Alright, let's get started. It, it's the mood. It's turn- it's turned out that it was the mood is right. Anyway, this is, uh, Super Mario World. You get to play as Luigi. This is the randomized, uh, run that I do. And, uh, let's see if it's any good. Also, Santa, as you can see here, <laughs> is taking precautions this year. Thank you, chat members, once again. But, uh, I don't know how to... I'm not going to be calling them out one by one, but I want you to know I appreciate from the bottom of my heart how much you want to support me. Uh, I'm doing fine. Like I said, you can save it for charity. I will mention it no more, but thank you. Let's, um, let's get started. So, it's Luigi at Larry's Condo. Wonder if we'll find a pepperoni secret. Diamond secret? And it's a water level. Huh. Not a fan of... Well, I mean, this level's easy. This is a, a World 1 level anyway, but this... It's not really a full water level, so it's not so bad. But, um, yeah, there could be water added to random levels. Like, I'll, I'll give you the rundown of what's random. So, obviously, I'm... Not Mario. I'm Luigi. 
And, uh... There's other stuff at play here, too. Like random power-ups. There could be a hammer bro. There's random sub-rooms, I think. Which... I, is that what's happening right now? Oh, God. I, I have to check the rules that I set. Random uh, color swap palettes uh, for the levels, I think. Yeah, that was a weird subroom, and... Wow, okay. Uh. Huh, where, where are we gonna find the exit? Oh my god. Well, I know where the other pipe is. Jesus, already? We're already looping. Someone said, um, Vinny, why aren't there any corruption streamers around? I don't know if you mean that, like, why am I not corrupting, or why does no one else corrupt? Um, they can. Anyone can do corruptions. People do. Some people do. It's water. <laughs> That's good. So that's a good start. Um, you can see what we're in for. I'm gonna just tell you what my settings are. Randomly swap stages. Randomize sublevels. Randomize exits. Random stage name, as you can see. Blue Switch Palace on the red Switch Palace. Enemy properties are randomly consistent. Well, it's, it's randomized consistently. <laughs> Custom Yoshi color abilities. Um, bosses, enemies... Shuffle Koopa Kids. Uh, mini gauntlet, gauntlet at Bowser's Castle. Randomized power-ups. Randomized no Yoshi entrances. Randomized stage color palettes. Randomized slippery ice physics. That's gonna suck. Randomly add water to stages. And original overworld location saves. So there you go. That's, that's what's random here today. I could have gone for a little bit more random, but it gets a little bit CBT when, like, those enemies... Some enemies, um, on some stages can become, like, CBT. And yes, I still have some Disarono, which is very nice. Yeah, this is still works out. Delicious. I didn't even drink the eggnog, I still have it. It was in a small little bottle. But I have, um... I had a sip earlier, and I guess I'll save it for tomorrow. Vinny, why is your face at the top of the tree? That's Paul McCartney, mate. I mean, I'm flattered. I'll take it. Thoughts on McCartney 3? Actually, very good. I liked a lot of it. It's just, you know, I wish... I wish Paul was young forever, because some of those songs would sound so good with young Paul. Like, 70s Paul voice. But, you know, for his age... And the songwriting is still there. Absolutely. Like, uh, Kiss of Venus could be on Rubber Soul. Like, it, I think it's really solid. And, uh, I like it a lot. I think it's- it's got a couple songs on it that I'm gonna be skipping. Would you want King Gizzard to make a Christmas album? You know what? No. <laughs> I don't really need any- any band to make Christmas albums. Um, I had a couple people tweet the Redvox account and, like, tell me, like, Vinny, you should make a Christmas album. I think I'd rather, like... I'd rather, like, play Kaizo levels. I don't really like Christmas music all that much. Call me Scrinch or Bus Buscumbug, but, uh, I... Yeah, it's not for me. And also, I could do a lot better with my, my time. You're a mean one, Mr. Glunch. 
If I'm gonna be making and recording music, I'd rather do, like, original stuff and not... Chocolate Galaxy Q? That sounds interesting. Um, I'd rather do original stuff and not covers and not Christmas songs especially. So... We're getting some late levels real early on here. Is Boss Scumbag... Sorry, Boss Scumbug a Star Wars character? Yes. Yep. Not that I don't appreciate some of my favorite artists having done Christmas songs. A, a song? Maybe. An album? nay be. Make a Halloween album? Well, I made Trolls and Goblins, so that's a song. That's- that's close. Oh, jeez. So yeah, this is just like all the stages in Mario World randomized with some random power. We didn't get any, um, we didn't get the hammer this time. Sometimes the fire flower can be a hammer, bro. How do you feel about Bowie and Bing Crosby singing Little Drummer Boy? It's good. Uh, it's actually something I like listening to. They, their voices worked really well. For a dude that was Ziggy Stardust a couple years earlier, and then to have him do a Christmas song with Bing Crosby was... weird and really cool to see. And then you find out, like, oh, this dude was a very talented singer. Love him or hate him, he had... pipes. What kind of name is Bing anyway? <laughs> it's gotta be a nickname, right? Like, it has to be a nickname. I'll be home with rat porn. Search on Bing tonight. Tin... Tinabulum. What? <laughs> what? This guy has too much eggnog! I had a sip. This is just me sober. Tintinabulum emote. No, that couldn't happen. But, but what would it be? I mean, what would it even be? It can't be. It can't exist the way I think of it. Maybe a little bell? That would, that's such a specific emote, though. Maybe we could just have it, like, like Kefka or Terra represent the Tintinabulum? I don't know. <laughs> Also, I have to remember that this isn't Mario Maker. I keep trying to spin jump off Yoshi with... You know what? I'm gonna do that. Because I, I like that the spin jump is actually... The R button. I've gotten used to it. It's, it's quite good. It's but yeah, I'm keeping some of the Christmas stuff a surprise, even though I did mention that I'm doing something Doom-related. Um, it's not too much Christmas stuff, it's a, it's a couple things. Also, I'm all caught up on The Expanse. I stopped at episode two, and I was, you know, I was enjoying it. I wasn't paying full, full attention, I was getting it. But I was, like, you know, playing a game at the same time, and, like, kind of getting the information and watching the show. And then, episode three... 
I was just like, okay, it's time to put everything down. And I just, today, I just watched three and four. And, uh, that show has gotten crazy, and it's really good. Not that I need to tell people who watch the show. I, I've... Good season. Fucked up season, but good. Vinny, are you doing more Christmas stuff tomorrow? Yeah, I, I have Christmas stuff tomorrow. I have VR Christmas stuff. Some of it's VR, and then I might have some other stuff, too. But... Yeah, I have custom Vine Sauce Christmas Half-Life Alex maps. Two of them... Randomly... Both people decided to make a Christmas map, and it just so happened that, you know, it's both for Half-Life Alex. So I'm gonna do two of them tomorrow, and then, um... H3, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades has a Christmas event. Oh god, this fucking stage. I like how this stage is just called Question Marks. But, um, yeah, aside from that, H3 has a really good holiday event. I don't know if I'm gonna do Flight Simulator VR, because people are getting, like, sick from it, because it's, the frame rates are so low. <sighs> That's an awful death. It's especially awful because this level is awful, and having no power-ups. ...is not good. Okay. 3080 and 3800X was getting 40 to 45 frames a second, which isn't bad... ...normally, but for VR, that's, like, the kiss of death. That's VOMIT, NOW! I can do that for a little bit, but then if the whole thing, the whole experience is like that, I would... I would not want to be in VR for very long. Y you need uh, at least the solid 60, and, and even then, you want 90. That's the only time I really notice it. I'll notice the difference between 60 and 90 in VR, and luckily the Index in Steam VR has a thing that helps you out a little bit. It kind of smooths the frames together, which is where things get a little wacky looking. You won't notice it, but in the headset, you'll notice, like, some of the, the objects, like, kind of smear together sometimes, and that's, like... Vom prevention, which is much appreciated. I think every game needs DSLR. Or is it DLSS? Why did I say DSLR? Is that a camera? Yeah, that is a camera. Huh. I like trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about, and then I, I, I'm like, camera. So, in terms of Christmas memories, uh, first of all, this level is... <laughs> this level is bad. Uh, for this early, especially considering... My power-ups. ...are now gone. With Yoshi, it wasn't so bad. But I'm going to share Christmas memories... ...many of which I've shared before. Um, and I, I can tell you that one of my favorite Christmas memories... ...was... ...getting Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. And at the time, I didn't realize that the game was kind of busted from a control standpoint because the N64 was still so new and I just played it and I liked it and I got the toys too the Outrider Dash Render Dash this Dash this project is taking too long to render Wow that's it. that's big penis what the fuck The weirdest gift I've gotten was a G-Shock watch. Now, hang on a minute. Let me explain. It was expensive, and I didn't want it. I never have. And then I wore it to high school, 
and then it immediately, the first day I wore it out, it scratched. Big, giant scratch across the, um, the glass, or the plastic of the, of the G-Shock. And then I was just so disheartened that I never wore it again. Truth- truthfully, not the weirdest gift, just heartbreaking. But, yeah, like, the weird part was, why would I get a watch? I didn't want a watch, but it was, like, it was fine. It was fine. Like, okay, it's a watch, that's cool. Yes, let me walk into the hammer. But what was, like I said, the worst part was when I finally warmed up to it, is when it stopped being functional. And that was a very sad day. Well, you know, again, it wasn't that it wasn't functional, it was just that it was extremely... ...scratched. And it made it, like, I, whenever I looked at it, it reminded me of my own failure to keep my watch safe. So... Okay, so, this is a little bit better. Um, another thing is, I had the GoldenEye watch. The, the James Bond watch. That was a cool watch. That I might still have somewhere. So that was like all I needed. I had that before the G-Shock. Um, I didn't wear that really, but it was cool. That one was not scratched. No, that was that was stolen by a friend. And then when they were confronted and said they didn't take it, it mysteriously appeared in my front yard the next day. Um, this person was no longer a friend after that. And I've told this story, too, and people were like, Vin, are you sure you didn't drop it in the front yard? But let's just say it was in a spot where I searched. And I searched. And I searched. I really liked that watch. It was the James Bond D GoldenEye 007 watch. When you pause the game, that's what you see. It was expensive, and I liked it. I don't wear watches anymore, no. But I got it back, at least. It's just a shame that that person... Um, ended up not being... ...a good friend, you know? That was, that was like a, a heartbreaking revelation. It was one of those things, too, where my... You know how sometimes your parents don't want you to hang out with another kid because they don't trust their parents? Well, I thought that was horseshit. I was like, that's not fair. You know, that's- that's bullshit. And then, um... That lesson hit me pretty hard. So... And- and again, like, sometimes it's bullshit. Sometimes it isn't the case. But, in the case of the watch, yeah, that dude sucked. Where's the exit, chat? Where's the exit to this level, chat? Oh, no. Where? 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 No, 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 I'm gonna have good stories, I swear. They're not all gonna be heartbreaking. I remember I got Mega Man action figures one year. That was good. And I was like, how did you even find these, Santa? It was cool. So that was another good gift. Thoughts on clothes as a gift as a kid. Well, yeah, it sucks. I didn't like it. Huh. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's this level. Oh, this is another early endgame level. Um, my, my whole experience with clothes... was usually I got stuff I didn't want and people tried to dress me a certain way but the way they tried to dress me was like big baggy shit but like there was a look in the late 90s like a gold chain like real New York Jersey Shore Italian thing and um I was getting clothing like that. That wasn't 
That wasn't good. I didn't like that clothing. I stopped wearing that clothing because that was not me. And people knew that it wasn't me, but they still bought it because everyone else wore it, and I had to be like that. I'm sorry that this has turned into a, uh, you know, one of these conversations, like of... Okay. Like, they're not... This was. This is also not a good Christmas gift. But, um, eventually, that stopped. So, yeah, it was kind of a waste to get clothes, but, um, I did get some video games. Like, Game Boy was big when I was a kid. So, Game Boy games were a little cheaper than Nintendo games, and thus I amassed a little bit of a Game Boy game collection. Many of them not good. I'll give you an example of two games I got from one of my uncles. And this was one year and then the next year. It was Solar Striker and Alleyway. Both, I believe, published by Nintendo. Not sure if developed. Solar Striker was a game that um, was very difficult. It was a shmup. It was a shoot 'em game, like a, a space shoot. Um, and I think it was Nintendo. And Alleyway was basically Breakout, but also Nintendo. Mario was on the cover. Both games were pretty okay, but too hard for me to beat. Both developed by Nintendo R&D 1. Okay. Yeah, I did not finish those games ever. Munster, Indiana. Why is Santa going to Munsters? To the Munsters house from the Munsters TV show. Home of Munster Cheese. I'm assuming. I don't, I don't think that's probably the case, but... It'd be kind of cool if that was true. But yeah, then I got a Game Gear one year, and I got like... You know, Ren people knew I liked Ren and Stimpy, so I got the Ren and Stimpy game. Glad that level's over. And uh, the Ren and Stimpy game was, was kind of trash. And I got Sonic Spinball, and I didn't like Pinball, really. And I liked Sonic Spinball a bit. And then I think I had one more game for the Game Gear, but I don't remember. So Game Gear was a cool gift. It was like, oh, a Sega system, finally! You know, like every- you know, not everyone, but like, cool kids have Sega. And then I got, like... I think... Just several trash games for it. And the batteries died so quickly. And I just abandoned it, like, immediately. You know, and... And Nintendo Power didn't have reviews for those games, so I didn't know which ones to get. Vinny New Paul. What do you want me to do with this? I mean... Sure. But, as I've said, like, most of my earliest memories are video game related, and most of my best Christmas memories are video game re related. Put it on the tree. Maybe this is a thing that can happen throughout the night. Maybe if I get... Like... Ornaments for the tree? But, um, what I will say is, please don't interrupt the stream <laughs> with your ornament idea. I'll get to them when I can get to them. Oh man, this ghost house. Of all ghost houses. Can't just fly through this one. Alright, here, I'll, I'll, um... It's only fitting that Paul would also be the first ornament. I think I might... Let's 
see. Maybe I can get one more from my own. It's just they're animated, and that's going to be distracting. So instead, there you go. How about this? Whenever I complete a world, we'll add some... We'll add some ornaments. A world? I've had this game since I was a kid. Oh, okay, this works. And I still don't remember how to do this ghost house. Do you have a favorite ornament you put up every year? I don't have a tree. I do have a Blade Runner spinner car ornament, though, that I, I quite like. Save. Um, I think I'm not going to warp to the end. Part of me wants to warp to the end, but I I'm not going to. But that means that Christmas stuff could be either cut or delayed. Or cut short. Depending on how fast this run goes. Warp as a backup, maybe. If I need to go back and warp, I will, but for now, I don't think I need to. Let's see how fast I can make it through. We're getting some really annoying levels early. Which means, if we're lucky, some of the later levels will be the... E easy levels! The secret exit is a bitch to get. I know. I, I think I know. I don't remember. Don't I have to do the thing with the, the thing here? Like, I have to... Like, go up here, right? That was perfect. That was accidentally perfect. Center, Minnesota. What? What? Chat, what? What? Spin jump on those wrap bubbles? No. No, I'm, I gotta get the, the thing. Over this way, this is where the secret is.
But I have to be small Ouija. So we're gonna be small Ouija. Just took a guess. I took a shot. Yes! Progress. <laughs> this level is called Sunken Ghost Ship. I guess we're spin jumping down into the sunken ghost ship. There's another exit. Good. I'm fine with that. I don't need that secret one. Chances are it's just gonna be a shitty level. Actually... Oh, voice crack. That was a good one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go back to that level in a minute. Oh, it's this one. Maybe I will go to the secret area. When are we getting diagonal... ground... platforms in Mario Maker 2? This is integral to the Mario experience. Mario Maker 3, yeah, on the Switch 2, when Metroid Prime 4 comes out. Why? Charge and chuck. Charge and chuck. <laughs> ASMR, you were just on an airplane. Pasta Plateau Hill. Luigi, when are we going to the Pasta Hotel? What? Mario, are you, are you having a stroke? It says Pasta Plateau! Oh, I should have gone back to that level. Okay, another pallet swap, and uh, we're getting... ...dinosaurs. I got this, Mario! You can stay behind! Mario's cooking the dinner while Luigi's off saving the Mushroom Kingdom. Sorry, Dinosaur Kingdom. Dinosaur Land. Dinosaur... Plateau. Hill. I think regular Yoshi has any special abilities, but I, I have randomized Yoshi abilities, which could be really broken, like really, really good, um, or terrible. But this Yoshi, I've noticed, was able to eat buzzy beetles without any issue. No indigestion, nothing. What? That was cool. You could eat buzzy beetles for some reason? Wait, that's normal? 
cool Link impression. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I didn't do the momentum there. doing the popular voices but not Watto. Hey, Watto is now a part of the stream. The, the Watto emote should be live tonight. That's my Christmas present to you. Eh. There is a scene where you, if you just isolate the voice, it's just him going... Why the rush? No, it's it's an actual item zone. That's nice. Vinny, can you sing the chorus to Smooth Criminal as Watto? Emmy, are you okay? thing about Mario World that I like less than Mario 3. Everything else I feel is... There's two things. Two things that I like less about this game than Mario 3. One. Item variety. And two. Um... The fact that you can't store items on your HUD for the overworld, like, for later. That's it. Valley of Spikes 4. There better be some spikes here. 3, no toad? No, no. There's toad. On the desert levels, there's even camel toad. The, the camel toad is almost as bad as the prolapse joke that I do. Well, I say joke, but... I throw this stream on. My family is over for Christmas. Hey, hey, Annie. Oh, camel toad. What? But yeah. Yeah, Mario 3. I just like the overworld mechanic of having the items. I feel like um, having enemies on the overworld too that you can get items from is also a really cool mechanic. So there's a couple things that Mario 3... Mario 3 I like better than Mario World by, like, a toothbrush bristle. Just a small amount. Vinny, do you think one day you will have too many emotes? I have too many emotes now. Let me refresh Chatty and see if Watto is now available. So how many Star Wars emotes do I have now? Yeah, there he is. Thanks, Elizarin, for cleaning that up. Also, I'm ready for, um, another ornament. Oh, we got an album of ornaments. I like how that opened in the wrong spot.
Like, the first thing it determined to do was open it in that section. Alright, we got a couple new uh, ornaments that I'll add to the tree. Oh, I guess I have to save them first. Oh god, my desktop is gonna be cluttered. It already is, but you know what? Let's clutter it more, I don't give a shit. There's a, a little gherkin. Here's meat, but not- not the meat we use these- this is my original meat, but smoothened a little bit. This is the one that I created on the day of. So that's- I guess that's like a McClanky. Here, we'll- we'll give the- we'll feed the gherkin to the meat. There we go. Right. I think we need O'Brien and Worf on this tree, if we have Picard. One more for now. And then we can add more next time I complete a world. Alright. Oh! Whoa! Happen. Why didn't you jump, Luigi? Yeah. Vinny, thoughts on Minecraft axolotls? <laughs> Better than Spelunky 2 axolotls. Goddamn sure. Oh, right. I forgot how to do this bonus game. <laughs> yeah. I can do it again. If you re-enter, it's auto-fail every time. Oh, that explains it. I never knew that. that. That's a new piece of Mario World trivia. All these years later, I'm still learning stuff. Like, did you know... There's a word? That talks, that means... Oh. Uh, it's, it's a... Well, it's sort of like a bell. No, I, I learn things about games, like... I've played Final Fantasy VI a bunch, I'm learning a whole lot of new stuff on my current playthrough. I have played Chrono Trigger more times than I can count, and I still, every time I play it, discover, uh, like, one or two new things about it, at least. I mean, that's really all there is left at this point. I suppose if I was on, like, the Chrono Compendium website more, I would discover a whole lot more things. And I, I was, I, there was a time where I was on there quite a bit. Just, like, reading whatever random shit I could find. But... I'm sorry. 
I just need some vengeance. Vinny, have you seen the Chrono Trigger randomizer? I- I'm aware of it. I don't think RPG randomizers would be particularly fun. The thing is, I'm not really playing RPGs for their gameplay. Oh, I need Yoshi for that. So, it would take forever. And... You know, I don't know any RPG other than maybe Chrono Trigger really well. So, I think I would have a, a really hard time getting into it. And, like, you know, knowing where everything is. Super Metroid randomizer is good. Zelda randomizers are good. This is a good randomizer. Donkey Kong Country. Secret of Mana has a, a randomizer. Koopa Secret Y. Secret of Mana has a randomizer that's really cool, actually, and it, it's like based on almost like a roguelite, where you go through an ancient cave and you gain items and weapons and experience as you go. It looks good. Mega Man randomized? Yeah, maybe. Bosses would be kind of a nightmare if you're trying to, like, get specific enemy weapons for another boss, but I could see it happening. But, like, even Ocarina and Majora, I've played both randomized, and they were both good, but they took forever. They took fucking forever. And I know there's settings that you can choose to make it a little shorter, which I would do next time I did a 3D Zelda randomizer like Wind Waker or something. Super Metroid plus Link to the Past randomizer. I've talked about it plenty. It does not seem fun to me. Like, you get taken out of the action for one to go into the other, and it just doubles the length of both. It doesn't do it for me. Wait until we get, like, music and movie randomizers, where you can watch, like, your favorite movie. Like, what if you could watch Goodfellas for the first time every time you watched it? because an AI just shuffled plot lines and characters around? What if you could listen to a new Beatles album every day? Like, um, including the hit song, It's Okay to Leave Your Dog in a Hot Car. Have you not heard that one? It's okay to leave your dog Telling me about the song, it's okay to leave your dog in a hot car. Uh. uh. I mean, it doesn't even sound like the Beatle voices, but. You know, that was a weird album. That was a weird album. Again, it was from the future. It was a randomized, um. It was a randomized one. Someone said, this is why the aliens will destroy us. We got a week of 2020 left, you never know. Star World Y, this is a castle. Is this- chat, does this take me to a shortcut? Like, to Star World? These castles? No, right? No, because this doesn't seem like the actual exit. I forgot. Oh, boy. I don't, you know why I did that? Because... Um... I don't know. I, I'm pressing R to do spin jumps, and for some reason it screwed me up, and it, my brain got... Vinny, will you make a Lord of the Rings reference tonight? What, do you want to drink? Just take a shot. It's Christmas. You don't need me to make a Lord of the Rings reference. 
However, I want to ask you a question. Hello! It's me! Have you ever wanted movies free? Download movies free at moviefree.com. I'm sorry, I forgot how loud that was. Oh, so no wonder this level is even worse. It's ice. No, that's why the aliens will kill us. That video, if that's not, like, ironic, that is why. If someone thought not only was it a good idea to do bootleg Mario, like, by inverting their colors, and then recording a voiceover of a high-pitched chav doing Mario, well, not even attempting to do a Mario voice, and then saying, you know what, I think Mario would be great to advertise our free movie scam site. Like, they just get paid by Big Virus to host their viruses. That's it. That's that's what they... That's how they make their money on that website. Alright, chat. Pray for me. Thank God, Zertnert. Ron Zertnert has been defeated. Valley of Spikes 6. Not a single pepperoni secret. That's when I edited in the phrase McClunky. So there's a reference. Got one for you. Not Lord of the Rings, but you can still take a shot if you need to. I saw Chocolate Secret, but that's not the same. You know. Pepperoni Secret is legend! Why would I not get the... Why would I not get that while I was there? I was right next to it. Ah. Yeah, Chocolate Secret and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. Those are my favorite levels in Mario World. I think I could probably sing like an Oingo Boingo song in that voice if I really wanted to. There we go. No, I only got an upper decker for Christmas. That was about it. Someone said, I linked my girlfriend your stream, and the first thing you said was, Pep Secret is legend. I was gonna say something about pepperoni nipples, but I decided against it, so be thankful. Be thankful that that wasn't the first thing.
on ye holiday. O come, O ye faithful. I was one of the three kings in um, the school play of Jesus Born. And um, one of the other kings farted. And it made people laugh. And it was very... It was... I, I was shaking my head like... Like, no. Like, no. And then I realized later, I, I shouldn't have shook, shook my head. I should have just ignored it and just powered through. I'm serious. No, this is serious. This is serious. It was really... Um... It was one of those things that I'll never forget. And even though... I was more of just like a witness to this event... I felt bad that I was shaking my head. Like, one of, you know, the Three Kings, I guarantee you, a Three King didn't shake his head when he saw baby Jesus. You know, it, <laughs> hypothetically. And now people hide farts in their videos for their, um... You know, for their logo, Kapusi. So that's... So if that dude's girlfriend hasn't left by now, then I think I've made a new fan, is what I'm trying to say. Because if you're here for that story, and then the word Kapusi, like, you have to- you have to at least think, like, no, this is- that's- that's it, I'm done. I'm out. Gotta leave. Um, I, I live here now. Yeah, I almost pulled off the speedrun strat, sure. But whatever the speedrun strat is, I probably would have found it, right? We're good, we're good, we're good. It's really testing my skill right off the bat here with these levels. The randomizer has no fucks given for difficulty curves. Since the rooms are randomized, this isn't even supposed to be here. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry for the noises, by the way. I know some of you are here exclusively for that, but uh, I don't know why. God, they're they're awful. Is there a checkpoint? That's you. There's no checkpoint. Okay, I gotta do this. And, and I only have 100 in-game fake Mario seconds to do so. Oh, shouldn't be too bad. Visions of last time I've did, done this have just passed through my brain. I remember this one, or one like it, I think the other one. 
that has a similar fight being uh, really annoying. We got a couple more. I don't want to add too many each time, but let's see. God, all right. This one will do. Since Zelda CDI and Morshu in particular have become so relevant again recently. That is a crusty ornament, but all right. <laughs> uh, this is a good one. The fucking barrel. <laughs> okay, Watto the red nosed reindeer. It's already too much. There's, like, way too many already, but sure, we're good. Let's just keep going. The barrel is too low. Good. Has It has honor. There's room for more. Where's Santa? Oh, shit. Santa is in Lubbock, Texas. Last I checked, uh, Santa was in Manitoba. And now in Lubbock, Texas. Let me ask, what the fuck kind of zigzag pattern is Santa taking? Koopa Graveyard. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? That would have been great. Diamond secret. Why? Wow, I was gonna say one of the easy levels has arrived and then that happens. Fuck do I know? Yeah, the ice was in a castle at one point, so it's not, you know, it's not been great, but luckily ice levels haven't been too bad. Again, there are more devious settings for this randomizer. Star World 2, that's a lie. 
What kind of settings? Well, you can randomize it so that enemies... Um, I think enemies could be anywhere, like any enemy. Which means... Some levels would be, like, nightmare zones. I think, I think that's what the randomizer is. And you can also set it so that... Just checking. So you can you can set it so that um, you can randomize warps. You can randomize enemy properties chaotically. Randomize boss difficulty. Bowser's castle, you can do a full gauntlet. Um, no cape. Small only. No Yoshi. Randomize level exits, including Yoshi wings, keys, etc. Randomize auto scrollers. Randomly remove water from stages. Can be difficult. It actually says can be difficult. And there's a no saving option that has a smiley face after it. So that's how you can make this into a nightmare. Vinny, random question, semi-related. Why did it take so long to upload Chaos Complex to YouTube? E easily one of my favorite videos of yours. It was uploaded the next day, but then it was taken down by Nintendo. It just took a while for it to come back. So that's the correct answer! What's over here? Oh, it's just... Okay, that, that's easy. I can skip a good chunk of the level with that. Fuck. Jesus. Jesus! I did not want to have anything to do with that, Reznor. Vinny, how does it feel knowing that you have a small militia that would do your bidding? I- God, I would hope not. I would really, really hope that everyone here can fucking think for themselves. But no, I'd like for this militia to be a militia of peace and love. Alright, I'm warning you now with peace and love to go out there and kill people with kindness. Alright, that's my serious message. Yes, we are all individuals. So here's another uh, ice level that should not be an ice level. But it's pretty early on, so it's not so bad. I really need to stop saying that. I 
want that extra feather. I will chase you to the ends of the earth of the dinosaur kingdom. I guess it's just dinosaur land. Hmm. Oh. I don't have much of a choice, huh? Oh, I do have a choice, but fuck it, we'll do this. Yeah, this, this forest is uh, real fun. DEATH is the name of this level. Jesus. Yep, that's actually kind of appropriate. This is one of the harder levels, I think. Or it, it can be. Not really hard, just kind of annoying. Especially getting the secret. Hmm. I may not need the secret exit. I might be able to just complete it. Let's complete it. What's your favorite Christmas song and why is it Father Christmas by the Kinks? It is, actually. I mean, I've, I've played it pretty much every year. Um, when that was an option. I also like the Ace of Spades. That's like another good Christmas song. If you like to gamble, then baby, I'm your man! You win some, you lose some, it's all the same to me! Hey, honey, I'm your man! Yeah, Lemmy's in this game. Lemmy is technically in this game. Great. This is probably, I think, enough. Yeah, that's good. That'll do. Vinny Santa has been shot down. You made me look, too. Like, wh whose airspace did he invade today? Did I lose my power up but stay on Yoshi? So what? Wigglers are bugged? Well, they're bugs. Pretty sure I just ate a fire flower and not a star, but I'm not gonna complain.
I think, luckily, we're done. That's a, that's a fucking relief. That was a relatively painless, randomized uh, forest of mystery. Somehow, we're in Green Hill Zone now, everybody. It's changed. It's dystopian, Sonic. Scaredy boo. Come on. Get out of here. You're harsh and you're you're yucking my yums. <laughs> you're uh That's that's one thing I wouldn't mind like never hearing again. I'm i I'm the one saying it. And many of you are like, I've never heard that before, ever, so I don't know why this dude's talking about yucking one's yums, but... That would be cool, like, New Year's resolution, is to just never hear that phrase ever again. Instead, we can go back to the word slickling. A simpler time. Or a more civilized people. <laughs> yeah, Mildred. Yep. Nothing. Your 2018 New Year resolution was about blue tit milk. Well, luckily I haven't seen that part of that movie since then. I tried re-watching it, and I think I avoided the tit milk part. Uh, it was my one time seeing it outside of the theater. So that resolution has been kept. I promised never to mention it again? Oh, never mind then. Yeah, I just broke that resolution. Shit. Did I have a resolution last year? True story, this is the only level in this game where these enemies appear. Torpedo Ted. Do you remember when I said I would never do the Bruce Willis impression again, and then this year it became a huge thing? That nobody wanted? Like, nobody? Play it out for me. Though, my favorite Bruce Willis me meme, if you want to call it a meme, or line, is still... That is a very nice hat. Other than that, the Bruce Willis impression is more just, like, vague mumbling. Yeah, that's good enough. It's the point across. We need more Fifth Element impressions. Every time I try to do an impression of Gary Oldman as Zorg, 
people think it's another impression, and I can't remember what. An underwater bonus level. Do it and we'll tell you. My name is... <laughs> See, now I don't... <laughs> I can't do it. My name... Cool, uh... Oh, oh, okay, the Zorg impression. People thought it was McConaughey. Valley Fortress. That sounds pretty normal. New ornaments. We haven't gone through a castle yet. No, we did one castle, but it was before, no? There we go. Vinny, look where Santa is going. Chihuahua? World 5 ends after the forest. Alright, that's acceptable then. Let's see. Got a couple more. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, well, John Full Sauce has decided that we needed more Michael Scott. Yeah, I think Bunger has earned a spot on the tree. This year, after all, has become kind of a, a meme burger year, so I'll, I'll take it. Let's see, do we have... Anything else? Do one more? You know, these Tintinabulums... I don't, you know, I just don't know about that. Here's a shrimp ornament. Sure, you know what? Shrimp deserves a spot just for the past, like, week alone. You shrimp fresh. God help me, I don't know why I'm doing this. Thank you, chat members, for, for, uh... It's a rat. Yeah, you see it? It's fine. No, this, that one's, that one's okay, chat. That one's fine. Alright, we're good now. Until next time... We're good. I feel like Morshoe here is kind of like the odd ornament out a little bit. Just wanna, we, got a, we got a spot right there on the tree. Throw Morshoe like here. Like it's better with a little contrast. It's good. Alright, until next time. Okay. No bunga ornament? What what the fuck does no bunga look like? 
add a dead wharf under the tree. If I could get a still of wharf, please, but where wharf is on the ground, like cut out, I will put him under the tree. No, I'll, I'll put the. I'll just leave him under the barrel. It's not. <laughs> Never mind. That was not what I was looking for, Desert, but thank you. What about Hark? I'm just gonna let these things happen organically when the chat members post the albums and, you know, like, people that I kind of see in chat a lot. I will consider it. But we'll get there next time. Let's... I'm gonna focus on Mario. When I defeat the next world, or complete the next world, then I'll add it. Do you remember 2019 started off as Muppet Sauce? It was very hopeful. There were nice Muppets on the stream, a lot. Nice job, Kermit. Thank you! Nice job, Kermit. Thank you! Nice job, Kermit. Thank you! Yeah, that was this year. Well, what a year it's been. What a year it's been. It's starting out with Muppet Sauce, and then... Here we are. Wharf getting crushed by barrels and tintinobulums and... You know, all the rest of the year, of course. It's between Muppet Sauce and the tintinobulum and shrimp. A couple things happen, I think. I don't, I don't really know. Put a tintinobulum on the tree. It's there. It, it's right there in the middle. Bottom. Bottom middle. We had alien sauce, which was a good three to four months. There was monkey sauce. There was, um... Goblin sauce, which I thought was going to be a joke. But it was real, kind of. Like, goblin sauce actually kind of happened. I have an alien. Like, I have an actual alien that still doesn't pay rent. Like, you know a year is, is like, kind of weird when... when you have an alien. You know, you know what it's like. Chat knows what it's like. You know... Everyone can relate. Where the fuck is the exit? Wondering if there's a secondary exit up here. N uh, no barrel. Because we have a barrel on the tree already. We, you know, we just assumed that there was another barrel. Not the best option was this year. Champ was last year, though. The exit is behind the big ghost. Take P, go to... go through door on left. Alright, I'll, I'll add the wharf after this level. No, the door on the right is japes. I'm pretty sure the door on the right is just complete japes. 
Nothing over here? Chat, did I- I didn't go through that one, right? Uh, oh, oh, there's two doors, there's two. So, yeah, this door is probably the true exit. Let's see. There he is. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright. I think that works pretty well. Ludwig's castle, even though it's not. Put the barrel over him. Well, I just, like, in my mind, it's that he's got... That's just another barrel. And that the barrel that did the damage to his spine and compressed his spine... ...was, um... I deserve that. Is somewhere off screen. So. Yeah, this one is ice. Yep, yes it is. The ice physics in this game aren't too bad, but they're still annoying. Whoa, that thing just got yote. Good with lives. Oi! <sighs> Every time. Every time. That poor Koopa was like, I did, I lived. I got away! I stopped myself from falling off this weirdly icy platform. And then... Yahoo! Oh yes, we fucking destroy the Koopa! We break their back, we make them humble! Fuck the Caillou! So this- I think this is the bonus level that's supposed to be here. So this randomizer actually randomized this bonus level into the exact right spot. I don't know, I kind of went through a pretty big Iron Sheik phase a couple years ago. When that documentary happened, I was like, how is this a real human? And then you kind of imagine, well, he's not really that all the time. I still have a theory that the Iron Sheik died years ago and that someone's managing his social media page. Oh, just... And uh, they're just posting 
like, random... Just random shit that he would say. Like, insert pop culture reference. Fuck them, make them humble. Type in all caps. Uh... You know, then, then, like, once in a while, it's, like, something that the Iron Sheik would never even know about, like, Minecraft Steve in the Smash. Fuck them, make them the humble. Break their back. And then you have gold, and, and that's, you know, then you sell t-shirts. And then you can support your fam- Like, the Iron Sheik... If- if he wasn't around... You know, how would these social media people be able to feed their families? So, I know- I hate to be morbid on Christmas, but... I'm just saying. Just saying. Who is Iron Sheik? Have you ever seen Dave Batista? You know who that is? Same profession. Right, there's a secret over there. I guess secret exit. Oh. Cool respawning turtle. Please, it's underwater again. I just wanted to get it over with. <laughs> Choco Ghost House. What's your opinion on pro wrestling? Since you mentioned Dave Batista. Never really got into it all that much, but a friend of mine got me into it a little bit. So, one of my friends got me into Bret Hart. You know, I remember when he was around, but I never watched wrestling when it was really, like, good. When it was on, with, like, Hogan's and, uh, Macho Men and stuff like that. So, I watched a lot of the, the Bret, the Hitman Hart stuff with the, his documentary and his matches, and I thought the dude was really cool, and he was good wrestler, nice guy. Uh, and then, this dude used to invite my friends and I over, he was a metalhead, and he would make pasta wearing an apron, and he would invite us over to watch wrestling. And so we would! And we had a good time, and he was a really cool, uh, you know... He was a cool dude. Pasta, metal, and wrestling? go together like chicken and what goes good on with chicken on or with chicken <laughs> and rice chicken and rice yeah i'm making star wars noises tonight when i die in this video game chat So, yeah, I, I, I used to go and watch wrestling with him, and it was good. It was good because you didn't have to pay too much attention. You would just shit-talk the TV screen, and that was it. We just did that, and it was fun. But I don't remember a lot of it because I didn't really care for a lot of the wrestlers. Like, you know, John Cena's would come out, and, um, what's his name? Orton. I mean, these that's fine, but it, it's like... I feel like the golden age of wrestling, the stuff I liked, that I was aware of, were like the big characters. I liked the Macho Man, the Ultimate Warrior. These these guys were assholes. I liked that. And, um, they had very distinct things going on, like The Undertaker. So, you know, 
I never really understood why people were all that crazy about John Cena's or, um, the Orton. They were fine. Uh, they were good showmen. I mean, or The Rock, even. But this is someone who doesn't know anything about wrestling. I just- I'm just kind of talking shit, really. Fuck, the Randy Orton break is back. But the fun part of wrestling is knowing exactly what it is, and just playing along with it, and realizing that it's just insanity. And people do get hurt. I mean, people that say wrestling is fake. This is like an old argument. I'm sure people probably know by now. Like, it is. But people get hurt. <laughs> like, people break their backs. People get fucking destroyed from this sport. And it's, you know, it's a very physical thing. And, uh, look at Mick Foley. That dude really fucked himself up for entertainment. Mick Foley was an honorary member of Jackass, as far as I'm concerned. Who is Mick Foley? Mankind was his wrestling name? Look up some of the stuff, like the cage match where the tooth went through his face. You know, like, there's stuff that... I don't know a ton about wrestling, but I know enough to know that... It's fun, it's stupid, and it's entertaining if you want it to be, and that it is actually very dangerous. It can be. But hey, um, then you get, like, people like The Rock, who just become the next action heroes. Like, The Rock is The Rock in every movie, but he has so much goddamn charisma. It's- it's an Arnold thing. You know, but... His movies are, like... Usually him in, like, a green button-down shirt. In or near a jungle. You know, he's... competent. He fights. But Dave Bautista's great. I think Dave Bautista is a phenomenal actor for what he, uh, is able to do. Like, he's surprisingly good. I'm not saying he's like, you know, Daniel Day-Lewis or anything, but he, you know, he tries and he succeeds. And I give him a lot of credit. But, uh, oh, unless you're at The Rock in the Tooth Fairy movie, which I've seen, shamefully. Or, you're The Rock in the movie Southland Tales which I've referenced plenty of times on stream. Dude that directed Donnie Darko made a movie called Southland Tales. Even made comics. Justin Timberlake is in it and sings, I've got soul, but I'm not a soldier, in the movie, while looking at the camera. Uh, and The Rock is a nervous, like, dude who claims he's a pimp. It's a really hard movie to watch, honestly. I do not recommend Southland Tales unless you want to see The Rock in a really bizarre role at the beginning of the year 2000s. Southland Tales... Tales... Pimps... Don't... Commit... Many times must I play this clip? Every- every few years. I've never considered committing suicide. Oh, this- it, this is too crusty to get DMCA'd. Here, I'll just leave the Mario music on while it's happening. I'm a pimp. And pimps... don't commit suicide. So if you ever wondered about Donnie Darko, then like, wow, that movie sure is deep. Just think that the dude who wrote that movie also wrote that line, and thought it was good enough for his film. Vinny, do you remember when The Rock was in Star Trek? He was, in Voyager, yeah. He was a fight alien. He was a fight alien man. That's right. In other words, he played The Rock.
boy, between this and Spelunky 2, the rock has sure come up a lot. Sure come a lot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus, on this day, your birthday, that is not really your birthday, but the solstice, whatever, you know, we celebrate for whatever reason, whatever religion was adapted. Amen. Deliver us from the rock and the evils and temptations of the rock's flesh. Amen. Yeah, Thwimp is great. Th Thwimp is a really good enemy. Good name. Underutilized enemy in the Mario series. Fuck Thwimps. I hate them. I'm a thwimp, and thwimps don't commit suicide. So if I, you know, if you'll allow me to blaspheme a little bit more, I'd like to talk about a movie and a book that I read. Speaking of people that made popular things and then made other things, like the dude who made um, Donnie Darko, I think, I forget his name, the director, but anyway. Uh, I wanted to mention, if you've seen Fight Club, Chuck Palahniuk was a pretty famous author. He still kind of is. I mean, people still read his books. Chuck Pal Palahniuk wrote a book called Choke, and uh, it was adapted into a movie with Sam Rockwell. And the movie was not that good. It was, uh, it was okay. Sam Rockwell did his best. I saw it in the movie theater for some reason. The book is good. But in the movie and the book, there's a plot line that talks about the foreskin of Christ. I don't remember why. Uh, I, I don't remember reading or watching that movie anymore, because so, so much information has entered my brain that that has kind of left. But the, the plot line does revolve around the Immaculate Christ foreskin. And, um... The dude also chokes for attention in the movie. So... That's... I just wanted... I, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Uh, not... I don't have anything else. Um, but there. Now you know. Okay, I'll take some more ornaments for the tree. Okay, we got some. Oh. Right there. Wow, we got a Rimworld or ornament. Smegmaloth. I haven't thought about Smegmaloth in a while. Damn. It's good. <laughs> Sphinx, I do not share your... I do not share your fascination with Wide Doc. Or of Wide Doc. But, sure.
the doctor from Star Trek Voyager. He's wide. This is apparently from an actual episode that I don't remember. So, onto the th onto the tree. I can't. No, there's one ornament that I cannot add. It's it's this one from uh, Cyberpunk. I can't add this emote. I'm sorry. It's an advertisement from Cyberpunk, but that's not no no good. That's no good. Sure, we could throw a friend on there. Makes sense. All right. Until the next um, dungeon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bungie? Yeah, we, we can't leave Bungie off the tree. Bungeon. Sorry, chat. Someone said put Germa on there. Look more closely at the tree. Isn't this actually the level that's supposed to be here? I don't know why this wasn't randomized. Maybe it's supposed to be here. Maybe it has to be here. It's the only level with a green orb at the end. Good. Good. What? Wow, what the fuck is that voice crack? That was a super voice crack. I like that one. I was gonna say, before the voice crack happened, maybe a Zelda emote of Zelda saying, Good! From Wand of Gamelon, but we've already got Morshu on there, so that that's like the CDI Zelda representation. I'm fine with that. And again, it would just be adding emotes. I, I would like to avoid adding the specific emotes that I have, if possible. I feel like this is a good place for... Well, I got the moon is right on there. But that that's kind of... You know, that makes sense given the, the season. That emote is designed for Christmas. Well, the scum is a scum rising. Scum is um, an emote. Vine rising is an emote. But scum rising is not. remember what I have to do here. Oh. Can you add Bono from U2? What? I like how Bono made a Twitch chat name just to suggest that he put himself on the, uh, tree. That's pretty cool, Bono, but it won't work. Damn it. I mean, if you think about it, all I really am is a meme curator. I mean, I know my role. I know what I'm doing here, in this life. I'm fine with that. I, yeah, I can make a funny spin noise every now and then, but I'm, I like being a, a meme curator. I'd be doing it anyway if I wasn't streaming. But, you know, not... Less frequently, probably.
pretty much doing what I want to do. This is- this is fine. This is good. Good. Alright. Level done. Notice we didn't even get a green orb. So we randomly got the first half <laughs> of the sunken ship level, but the green orb part? Nope. Which Red Vox song is the most emotional for you? Oh, Roid Rage. Because that elicits the emotion of anger. And pain. I guess we... Do we add another... You know what? I will add a bonus ornament. Just one. Uh, the VR headset is all well and good, but it probably not ornament worthy. Damn lawnmower. I still don't get people's obsession with this lawnmower. It's got to be cut out, by the way. Wow, this is a really fucking horrifying and wretched ornament. It's perfect. And for a year where Animal Crossing was played by so many, and streamed so many times by me, it makes sense. Since we're getting to the end, after every level, I'll add one ornament. Oh, am I still alive? <sighs> Lucky son of a bitch, I am. How much eggnog are you on right now? I had the, uh, shot and a half worth of eggnog when I played... Animal Crossing earlier, and that, that was it. <laughs> that was really it. I don't see myself wanting to get drunk. First of all, I, you're really not even supposed to get drunk on Twitch, A. B, I don't really like being drunk. C, I don't want to drink and stream, you know, in, in mass quantities. That's just not a good idea. I've learned it. I don't like it. I don't even really like drinking all that much. A little, little buzz at most is nice for me. I'm good with that. However, I do have amaretto, and I've been nursing a glass since two hours ago. One glass. But eggnog sounds like a nightmare to get drunk off of. I'll just say that. Wow. Oh, we got another ornament for the tree. That encompasses... 2020 quite nicely here on the stream. It's Charlotte. John Fullsauce, did you make this? <laughs> it's, uh, it's Charlotte from Twiles of Mana. With spicy water. Pop Ocean. So that's why the barrel fell on Wharf. Charlotte did it this whole time. It was Charlotte. It was me. Tell Cersei it was me. Goodbye, Yoshi. This was probably one of my favorite levels as a kid because every time you played it, I didn't know why the, the like, the levels were changing, but every time you played it, you'd enter a different room. 
It's based on the time, right? This was like the first true randomizer. Time and coins. So how many variations are there? Like, I know that's probably a loaded question. It's like, is anyone gonna know that? But... I mean... There's a bunch. There's like five. Three for each section. Oh, not a loaded question. Yeah, it's not the right use of loaded question. Okay, here we go. Bad. Okay, we have to get the most meaningful emotes for 2020. Or not emotes, but ornaments, sorry. Ornaments for the tree. In my opinion, at least. So, um, I I saw the Rafi emote ornament. Someone posted a Rickroll. Hang on, this is actually really... This will work. This is from Muppet Treasure Island. You know what we can do with this one? We can put this one up here. balances out Wharf pretty nicely. Nice job, Kermit. Thank you! Fancy meat? Oh, Kermit? I saw someone in VR chat named Kermit last week when we were exploring off stream. And I was like, where'd you get that name from? And he was like, I, I don't know. I just like the name. I'm like, hmm. And it was just some rando. It was like in a public world and he didn't know who I was or anything. He just said it was a cool name. Kermit. Did you sue him? Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 definitely. Of course, yeah. The, the defamation suit is also going through. Yep. Alright, I'm suing you with peace and love. Now. You're doing too many ornaments. There's two pole ornaments and no Ringo ornaments on that tree. People are just posting images. I need, like, cutout images, like actual ornaments. An image won't be enough. Um, I'll, I'll check and see what there is. The first one I like, I'll post or I'll use. Bucket of salmon. Salmon. Yeah. Oh uh, no, the poor fish. Right near the shrimp, too. Remember when I did this level last time? I played this game and I fucking died like a thousand times. Jesus. Listen, thank you, chat member.
really hoping this won't take as long as it did last time. Oh, thank god. Okay, good. <laughs> Twice as opposed to, like, probably 20 times or so. Penis man from part-time UFO. If, yeah, if, if someone wants to uh, get that, I'd, I'd post. Yeah, I'd post that on the tree. Sure. Jobski is all well and good, but I think, yeah, the. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the penis man would be more appropriate. Feels more like an or ornament. Let's keep looking through. It's desert, was that just a random cat? It, someone just posted a thick twerking Luigi. putting this on the tree. The absolute legend known as Kapusi ha actually found his way onto the tree. Almost done. Get ready is the name of this level. This isn't... What the fuck is this? Oh, I guess it's the randomizer after all. It'd be cool if it was just 1-1. One, one. And then Bowser. Oh, God. Actually, a lot easier when swimming. Frame crust happening here. And that's it? That's it! Gotta overclock that SNES, yeah. I mean, hey, some people have figured out how to get RTX on Super Nintendo. There was a video, it was like a demonstration video. It was very fascinating. How would that even work? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm sure you could find the video, but I don't know. I don't even know what I saw. It could have been Japes. But I'm sure Nari knows exactly what it is. They put a separate processor on the cartridge. Oh. I find this to be one of the easier 
between this and Mario 3, I hate the Mario 3 Bowser fight. Sorry, King Koopa fight. This one's not so bad. Don't do that, first of all. What is the hardest boss fight ever, Vinny? I don't, uh, I don't know. Of games I've played? I don't, or, the one I probably struggled with the most was the Orphan of Kaz from, um, Bloodborne. That motherfucker can eat a dick. Maybe not the hardest boss, like, ever, but one of, one I've really struggled with. Anyway, here we go. Final phase. Well, there you go, Luigi. You did it. Congratulations. Would it be weird to put Crazy Hamburger so close to Bunger? This one would not work particularly well as an ornament, but I'm going to put it on the tree anyway, just because it's one of my favorite moments of the entire year. Scoot and Miku smoking weed together. Some of you may be aware of the dire consequences. sloppy, but that's all right. Smile ghost? Sure. Not this year specifically, but still, still pretty good. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Well, Hades in the style of Zelda CDI. That's good. That's going on the tree. I guess there you go. 
uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Terraria people wanted on the tree, but it might be a little too late for that. Oh, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Oh my god. I love this one. <laughs> uh, we're running out of room. There's no more room, really. bit more space. I could do, like, probably two more, but it's gotta be... Wayne Hylix. Sure. Wayne Hylix would be good. My desktop is now a, a clusterfuck. Toblerone. No. <laughs> no. I think we're good. Just about good. We already got the UFO, uh, part-time UFO man up there. But, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the, um... That's the end. And you know what, chat? This year wouldn't be possible without you. Oh, wait, yes, it would. Because this is not cut out properly, which means I cannot use it. <laughs> I mean, it's still doable. Just like a little crusty, that's all. Okay, I need Cloud or Sephiroth. That's it. That's the last thing I need and I'd be happy. Do the meme? Oh, you want me to do the meme? Okay, I'll, I'll do the meme. <laughs> sure, we throw that up there too. God damn it. This tree... <laughs> what started as a lark has turned into a fucking project. Where, where's the... I can't even grab the goblin chat. Oh, I got it. Okay, good. Because it's fucking, like, not cut out properly. It's massive. I'm gonna put the goblin here for now. And if I could get a Cloud or a Sephiroth... Here we go. Oh god, it's John... <laughs> it's John Fullsauce's thumbnail for Sephiroth. Okay, that's... that's good. perfect. We got it. Fucking hell, this image. What? Like, how do you even come up with this shit, John? Probably rest the Sephiroth on the wide dock right there. And there you go. That's the tree. That's the tree. And now for the meme.
Okay. And one more. No, we can't do another Peach face. We gotta, we gotta do Mario face, I think. Mario face on Luigi. But with a twist. Fine by me. Almost actually kind of works with the neck. All right, good. The end. Um, as for this tree, I can't make it any bigger, so you have to take your screenshots now. This would have been added to the tree, by the way. It, it's Gal from Final Fantasy VI, but I have no room for him. So, uh... Wow, that's good. Ditched again. No, we have room for him. We'll just leave him there. Good enough. All right. Uh, O'Brien. Well, we got Worf. That's good enough. All right. That's it. That's that's the end of uh, Mario Randomize. I do have some more Christmas stuff. But I have, like, dozens of images in this thing right now, so I'm going to get rid of them. And my, like I said, my desktop is a complete mess. So, thank you for watching Mario Randomized. This is a good year. Two hours, not too bad, actually. Uh, well, two hours and 20 minutes or so. And the tree was great. The tree was right! We're going to take a quick break, and then some Doom Christmas, and maybe one other thing Christmas. So, stick around. Give me a couple minutes. We'll do a BRB. But yes, definitely take a picture of this tree so we have it be back in a couple minutes